What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a bit, between the holidays and work I've been super busy, but I'm going to try to get back on track with some uploads. You'll also hopefully notice the microphone quality difference. I picked up an AT2020 USB Plus from Audio-Technica. If you'd also want to pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Ivysaur's side B, Razor Leaf, is potentially his best special move. It's an extremely powerful zoning tool that doubles as a combo tool, and I'll demonstrate a couple of those combos in this video. Razor Leaf is super versatile. You're able to throw it at two different speeds and ranges, each of them having their own unique applications. Simply tilting the left stick to the side and pressing B will throw a slower, shorter range Razor Leaf. But if you push the stick quickly left or right, you'll get a faster, longer range Razor Leaf. Both the longer range, faster razor leaf, and the shorter range, slower razor leaf deal the same amount of damage. The only difference between them is their speed and range. Depending on what point during its travel razor leaf hits the opponent, it will deal a different amount of damage. Damage falloff range is different between a fast and slow razor leaf, but they're proportionally pretty much the same. The damage values go as follows. 9.6% at close range to low medium range, 7.2% at medium to long range, or 4.8% at the end of the animation. Ivysaur has hands down one of the best projectiles in the game with Razor Leaf. It goes more than halfway across the stage, is fast, does solid damage, and is very spammable. It allows Ivysaur to camp out tough, close combat fighters and poke his enemies down to get them into a percent range where he can get a combo rolling, then quickly back out. At lower percents, you have a couple of options for comboing. At around 0 to 20%, if you land a razor leaf when the opponent is up close to you, you can do a forward tilt, which will deal a total of around 17 to 21%, or you can do a down smash, which deals 21 or 24%, depending on if you can sweet spot it. When an opponent gets a bit higher, from around 20 to 30 percent, you can land a close range side B into a forward air, then fast fall into an up tilt. This will deal right around 30 percent damage to your opponent. To add to this, although it's not a true combo, you can follow up on the up tilt by jumping to chase and juggle with up airs. This will be the case for any time you knock an enemy into the air. In nearly the same percent range, right around 20 to 35 percent, you can land a close range side B, then immediately forward smash. This combo will deal around 28% damage. Alternatively, if you land a low to medium range side B, or a close range side B, you can combo into a dash attack. This will deal from 21% to 24% damage, depending on if you land the strong or weak hit of dash attack. If you predict the edge get up, or time it to avoid the get up attack, you can land a close range side B, jump off, and immediately down air. This cheesy combo can potentially gimp a character with a weak recovery by the ledge. Ivysaur's down air hitbox is huge and has a strong and weak part of the hitbox. Landing the strong part of the hitbox will almost guarantee a kill on a character with a weak recovery. If you're confident enough, you could even follow them down with another down air to secure the kill. This next combo works at a very wide range of percentage, from 15 to 100%. You can land a close to low range side beat and follow up with a short hop forward air. This will be a bread and butter, nearly guaranteed follow up if you land the proper hitbox of the side B. At around 105 to 150 percent, you can pretty much do the same combo, but rather than short hop forward air, you want to do a full hop forward air instead. This will start to kill at around 130 percent, although that depends on the character's weight and your opponent's DI, like most of these combos. I'm sure there are plenty more potential combos, especially between the different weight classes, however there's no way to cover them all in one video, so get out there and start experimenting yourselves as well. Overall, Ivysaur is one of the best projectiles in the game, and it allows him to hold down multiple different playstyles. You can zone at range, or pick up some sweet combos up close. The craziest part of all this? He's only one third of a character. Pokemon Trainer is such an interesting character that is definitely still underdeveloped, so try to figure out some new tech yourselves too. 
If you find something cool, feel free to tweet at me or leave a comment. My Twitter is simply underscore smashing. You can find it on screen now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be sure that you're notified when all of my videos go live. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.